ever have the feeling that you're not alone? the first serious attempt to produce a robot with legs, a robot which walks. It's called a functionoid and its six legs can take it into places that no human would dare to venture. Steve, this is all very well, but uh, with the truck in the way, I don't think we can really give it a proper demonstration, can we? Oh, well, it's, uh, I think we can take care of that. have it move the truck out of the way. Now that's what you call the squat position, is it? Well, well as you can see, we're, uh, I can walk it in any direction and I can, it's down low enough that I can walk it right under the lifting bar that's on the truck. So you simply have to position that lifting bar underneath the jacking point and up she goes. Now I can lift the front. The functionoid's extraordinary crab-like motion makes it possible to move in confined areas or in places where humans couldn't go. Using the peg in its head, it can lift a maximum load of around 400 kilograms. So who needs a car, Jack? As we've seen, this is rather more than just one of George Lucas's cute little droids. This is called a capabilities model, at least that's what the engineers who built it call it. The capabilities model in the sense that it demonstrates the capabilities of a walking rather than a wheeled robot. Down here we've got the 24 volt aviation battery for the power supply. That provides the power for the seven computers, one each for each leg, and one central computer in here coordinating their movements. As we've seen, it can walk, it can squat, it can lift, and it can climb. At the moment, the functionoid still needs to be guided by an operator using radio control equipment. The television cameras in the head give limited vision. Odetics Incorporated, the firm which built the functionoid, believes that the robot would have applications in the mining or construction fields where it could move over difficult terrains. Another proposition is that it could be used to explore remote planets guided by radio links from a satellite. This robot's only a feasibility model. Bigger functionoids are under construction, one of them designed to work underwater. With one of its six legs, the functionoid can lift about 280 kilograms. It would have done more for us, but for the fact that the batteries are only good for an hour, which just about gives it time to climb onto its podium for a final salute before expiring. functionoid retired for the night, its legs neatly tucked up. What the engineers here are working on now is a functionoid which is autonomous, which doesn't have to be told what to do. Just think about it, it may not be too long before we see a robot prospector like this, with intelligence, looking for minerals in the Australian outback. <laughs>